Hello, welcome to Gamegasm's Christmas Countdown. I'm Bren. I'm Jay. And Bren, what have we got today? Then? Well, tugging out my stocking today, we've got the beautiful Shovel Knight. Oh. So, as Castlevania is my most faved horror platformer of yesteryear, I suppose you can understand why Shovel Knight really caught my eye. Styled as a retro 8-bit game, you set off as the amazing Shovel Knight, and yes, that is a shovel he's holding. Swinging your mighty shovel, you vanquish foes, solve puzzles and kill bosses. It uses a very Metroidvania style of progression, whilst keeping each level separated with a Super Mario 3 styled overworld. The shovel attacks are cool, with our fearless knight being able to dig downwards, strike enemies and dig up treasure, and open up different secret hidden areas. And it doesn't hold your hand either, throwing you in at the deep end it introduces some high level platforming tasks very quickly. Not for the faint hearted, Shovel Knight will test your metal at most points throughout its duration. The characters are cute and colourful but retain a dark edge and the tongue in cheek dialogue and humour is reminiscent of some quips you might find in a Monty Python film. On completion you also unlock the Plague Knight and get an entirely new quest with new gameplay to master. It intertwines with your previous Shovel Knight adventure and is really cool seeing it from this new perspective. The weapons and power ups are plentiful and you'll need a strong mind and super dexterity to get through some of its tricky levels, but the amazing power ups all work really well and it's often up to you to decide what is the best tool for the job. Full of life and oodles of great atmosphere, Shovel Knight takes you right back to when gaming was the best thing ever. Chucking this one on Christmas Day with a mug of hot chocolate and you're all set for a super morning. So Shovel Knight then, so a fairly new old one. Yeah, like. yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I like Castlevania and uh, Shovel Knight is just a harken back to those 8-bit games and it does it so gloriously well. I mean, I think they did embellish a little bit, like it's not true 8-bit because I don't think that you could fit all that on a cartridge. I don't think it could happen. No, it's quite a big game as well, isn't it's, it? Oh, and it's, it's about six or seven hours, so, you know, but that that's just the Shovel Knight story. Once you get to the end of the game, though, you unlock another character, um, the Plague Knight, and you get to go through the levels again, and they're all slightly changed to deal with wow. uh, the Plague Knight's kind of different abilities, because he uses bombs instead of the, the shovel. <laughs> so it's quite cool. He like throws bombs, and you can customise the bombs and have different like lobbing bombs and different times and stuff like that. Uh, bombs that explode, and the little green um, things go out of the the screen and stuff and yeah it, it's really good it's such a it's such a clever game and the art style is just it's just beautiful what they've managed to do with a limited color palette is just oh, hats, off, <laughs> hats off to you hats off to you guys and it was it was a successful kickstarter game uh so yeah it did, didn't come out too long ago and but it, it makes my list because this is going to tell you something about me as a gamer right now okay so i bought fallout 4 and shovel knight at the same time yeah. Okay. Now Fallout 4, amazing game, right? And everyone, pretty much everyone on the internet, there's no other game at the moment except for Fallout 4, right? Yeah, it's it, it's everywhere. It's just everywhere. Everything's Fallout 4. This Fallout 4. That. Anyway, yeah, I've logged more hours on Shovel Knight than I have on my Fallout 4 profile at the moment. Okay. Well, so, there you go. Yeah, and that's why it makes this list. So um, yeah, if if you liked the video, don't forget to leave us a like. Also, comment below. Tell us uh, what you like about Shovel Knight. Have you played it? Let us know. And uh, as always, I've been Bren. I've been Jay. And we've been Game Gasm. <laughs>